Hi, welcome back once again to CBSE Board Economics. I'm Sudam Sen here. Monetary policy is the central bank's money supply and credit control policy. Under monetary policy, we're discussing qualitative instruments. Qualitative instruments show in which direction the credit should go, whether the credit should be for priority sectors like agriculture, industries, or for speculation. In case of excess demand or inflation, the central bank discourages credit for speculation. And the three instruments you have under qualitative instruments, the first one you have is margin requirements. That, of course, we discussed it. The second one you have is moral situation. We have covered that. And the last one you have is selective credit controls and direct action. Selective credit control and direct action. What exactly is selective credit control? Selective credit control means the central bank will advise or guide the commercial banks in providing loans and creating credit. In case of excess demand and deficient demand, in case of inflation and deflation, the central bank advises the commercial banks not to give loans for speculation, not to give loans for speculative purposes like buying and selling of shares, buying and selling of properties. The central bank always advises the commercial banks to give loans only for priority sectors. Which are these priority sectors? This can be agriculture, this can be industries which will help in producing output, in increasing output in the economy, increase employment level, increasing production. That way we can control inflation so that there shouldn't be more money supply in the economy when there is excess demand in the economy. It leads to further inflation. And direct action, what exactly is direct action? In case of direct action, the central bank has the powers to put penalty on the commercial banks to stop giving loans to them and to take uh, all kinds of stringent measures like they have the power to close down the banks, to amalgamate the banks, to merge the banks or to put moratorium, moratorium on the commercial banks. This is very simple. Once again a request, I mean to follow this carefully, selective credit controls and direct action. What exactly is selective credit control? In this case, the central bank takes uh, initiative and it advises the commercial banks to give loans only for priority sectors like agriculture industries, not to provide loans for speculation. And in case of deficient or deflationary gap or recession in the economy or depression in the economy, the central bank advises the commercial banks to be more liberal in giving loans. In direct action, the central bank will take direct action on commercial banks in case they are floating they are floating the guidelines of the central bank the central bank has the power to close down the banks to amalgamate to merge to put moratorium on commercial bank so once again I repeat in case of selective credit control and direct action this comes under qualitative instruments of the monetary policy. In selective credit controls, the central bank guides the commercial banks to give loans only for priority sectors like agriculture industries, not to give loans for speculation. The central bank may take direct action on commercial banks. They can close the bank, they can put moratorium on them, they amalgamate them, they merge the commercial banks. So that's all we have time for today. Till we meet next time. It's goodbye. I'm saying bye-bye.